thank you, Holy Ghost, for what you're doing. So good to be in His presence. Psalms 34, the Bible said in verse 17, the righteous cry. Look at your neighbor and say, the righteous cry. That don't mean the righteous. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. Don't mean they walk around pouting and doubting. Come on, somebody. Cry means they cry out in faith. Somebody shout, it means they worship. They cry out in faith. They're not they're not wimp, whining and whimpering. Come on, somebody. Look at your neighbor and say, if you keep whining, you're gonna you'll never be winning. Come on, somebody. If you, as long as you whine and you'll look at your neighbor and say the eleventh commandment is thou shalt not be a whiny honey. Praise God. And everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Look at your neighbor and say, Well, that's personal. First Thessalonians 5.18. You. Somebody shout, it's God's will in every season. Give Him thanks. Give Him praise. Amen. Because He's worthy. Psalms 18 and 3 said, I'll call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. David said, God, I call upon you, and before I ask you anything, I just stop and take a praise break and say, Worthy. 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 Worthy are you. And so the righteous cry, Psalms 34, 17, and He said, the Lord hears them. Look at your neighbor and say, the Lord hears. The Lord hears. And next, He delivers them out of not some of them, but all of their troubles. Somebody say, all their troubles. Oh. Look at your neighbor and say, I know you got issues. Oh. Look at somebody else and say, I know you got issues, and I got issues. And together, we might just have issues. Issues means it's a little bit worse than it was yesterday. Come on, somebody. Amen. But look at somebody and say, God can deliver us out of them all. If we're crying to Him. God has never did nothing in the earth until somebody who knows Him calls on Him. He said in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, My people which are called by my name, if they'll humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from Him and forgive their sins and heal their land. Somebody say if, conditional. If my people, the ones who say they're called by my name, if they will call on my name and do this when they call on my name, humble themselves and pray. Come on somebody, turn. Somebody say that means repent. Turn from their wicked ways. Turn from their sins. Turn away from the sin. Come on somebody, what God calls sin. Amen. And seek His face. Somebody say seek His person. I'm telling you, you can't seek His face until you turn from your sins. Hallelujah. And He said, then, somebody say then, will I hear from heaven, forgive your sins, and heal your land. So we find that this is conditional. God wants to move, but He has to have somebody call on Him. It's been this way from the beginning. Even in a, uh, Genesis chapter 4, verse 26, it talks about Seth, a man that was third of Adam and Eve. Look at your neighbor and say, you're from Adam's family too. Praise God. Anyhow, that first Adam. And it was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Seth replaced Abel. He came along and then Seth had a son named Enos, which was a grandchild of Adam and Eve. And Enos's name meant mortal flesh. And according to Genesis 4.26, it's the place of first mentions. And, and, and it says that then men began to call on the Lord. Somebody say men started praying when a child was born called Enos. And they named him Enos, and in those days, and in the biblical times, likewise, throughout both Old and New Testament, when they gave somebody a name, that name became their identity. It had a definition that was divine connected to it. And Enos' name means mortal flesh. Somebody say mortal flesh. That's when men began to pray. In other words, prayer started when men understood I'm flesh and blood, and there's just some things I can't do. There's just some stuff I can't handle in my life. Somebody shout God is the only one that can take care of some things. And I'm, I'm telling you my friend, there's some things that God purposely allows in our life because He's wanting us to turn to Him and realize that we can't do anything without Him. And then we're not our own and He don't want us to do it on our own. Hallelujah. So men began to pray when a little baby was born named Enos, whose name again in Hebrew means mortal flesh. Prayer is birth when you realize God, I need your help. I can't do this without you. 
David said, my prayers unto the God of my life, Psalms chapter 42 and 8. He said, I'm going to pray to the one who is the very sustainer of my life. Without him, there would not be a me. Therefore, it makes sense to go back to the designer. To call out to him. Glory to God, because only He knows my next step. Only He knows my future. Come on, somebody. Only He knows what I really have need of before I can ask Him, Matthew 6 and 8. Though He knows what we have need of, He still wants us to ask Him. People don't get saved thinking about it. you got to ask. you got to pray about it. you got to call on it. Romans 10, 13 said, Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Somebody say with me again, you can't get saved thinking about it. You can't get saved hearing somebody preach about it or sing about it. Somebody say, you got to pray. Pray about it. Those that call on him will be saved. God said in Joel 2 and 32, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Deliverance is a product of somebody praying. Ain't none of you in here today alive, including myself, amen, except somebody, whether you knew them or did not know them, prayed for you in the name of Jesus. And ain't nobody in here born again, washed in the shed blood, amen, of that righteous lamb, Jesus Christ, without first somebody, that somebody may be walking streets of gold in heaven right now, but you're here. Come on somebody, you're walking in the kingdom of God. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, you survived this long because somebody's prayers. Somebody prayed for you. That person may be, like I said, already in heaven, but somebody called out to God for you. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm a living prophet. But there's a God in heaven. And He answers prayer. And He answers prayer. Hallelujah.